Good morning, I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Okay, so to get started really quick, there is a male, okay, that is currently uh, under judgment, okay? We have a male that's currently uh, under judgment because in the past, he was in a relationship uh, with a Queen of Swords energy. This is someone that uh, possibly could have been very loving, caring, humbled uh, toward that person, uh, but later on uh, became a queen of swords, uh, someone with very strong boundaries, okay, that became very protective of themselves, all right? Uh, because this person, whoever this feminine energy is, she was targeted by multiple people. So as I was doing the cards, uh, the pre-shuffle and pulling cards on this situation uh, this man that she was in a relationship in in the past um, she was coming to him with a pure and loving heart her intentions uh, were not for any financial gain uh, it was nothing materialistic uh, she was under the impression that she was in um, a pure loving relationship okay so she thought when she met this guy that this was a brand new relationship uh, that she was approaching with honesty um, and ace, I saw the ace of wands, uh, the page of swords and the queen of swords. She thought this person was being transparent and wanted the same things that she wanted out of life. Okay. Now, when she got in a relationship with this person, uh, what also came out was uh, the ace of pentacles, the 10 of cups reversed. Uh, and the five of cups, okay? Uh, she did not view this relationship as an opportunity uh, for financial advancement or anything. Like I said, she was coming for an equal exchange of love and companionship, okay? But the relationship left her in the five of cups uh, in sadness, okay? So this person was not giving to her equally that she was in a relationship with. Um... So she walked away Eight of Cups from the relationship uh, that had her in a, a page of pentacles reverse type of energy. You know, it wasn't an equal give and take. And uh, this relationship she was in with this person, they were working with other people to cause distress uh, to, whoever, to whoever this feminine energy is. Uh, they were doing little uh, petty crimes that she was unaware of at the time. So, uh, in the cards what came out was, and this is kind of disgusting, okay? For whatever reason, this feminine was targeted and they were using, uh, they were trying to use this feminine's energy. The masculine just wanted to have sex and was indifferent to the situation. But he had other people in that fe this woman's family that convinced him to work against her uh, for some type of an opportunity. It, it sounds weird, but follow me on this. So they, it was people in his family and in her family that were working together. And while she was in a relationship with this masculine, he was doing things like, um, if they would go out uh, to a club together for, for uh, drinking uh, and eating and having a good time, he would drug her, okay? He would put something in her drink so that when she got to moving around in the club and something, uh, she was thrown off balance or was wobbling or whatever the case may be, uh, he drugged her and would record it. He would like make recordings of her, okay? Uh, and then the next morning when she got sick and would throw up and you know, uh, this is what they're showing me happened. Um, he would come to help and ask, are you okay? I don't know how this happened. You only had one drink. You know, he was gaslighting her. And then he would report back to her family and people in his family he was working with to do little petty things 
to this feminine. This is disgusting to hurt her, okay? Um, this masculine, these are petty crimes, but they could carry a very high charge. So he would put things in her food, you know, while they were living together. You know, he was drugging her, putting things in her drink, and then recording her, you know, when uh, the symptoms from whatever he drugged her with, you know, would, would, would show out, you know, when she would get uh, inebriated or whatever the case may be from it. And like I said, uh, this is how they were having fun. People in her family that were targeting her along with his family. Now, he did not take the relationship seriously because I'm guessing uh, either someone told him it, it was some type of an issue with infertility because that card popped out twice uh, over here that um, uh, so I guess someone in their family told this masculine that she was infertile and uh, that uh, she was actually uh, codependent and needed him financially and all these other things, you know, uh, to really try to make this feminine look bad. There is an Aquarius family member of this woman's that had something to do with a lot of this. So after, and they started, uh, they were telling this masculine different techniques to use, uh, to play with this woman's head uh, while they were in a relationship, uh, using alpha male strategies and all type of, uh, you know, beta male strategies and shit they used. Long story short, she caught on and eight of cups walked away from the relationship. When she walked away from the relationship, later on, she got into another connection with someone else that unbeknownst to her was a spiritual practitioner. This spiritual practitioner was connected to that masculine. That masculine that she was in a relationship she walked away from was actually, he, he, along with her family, they hired a spiritual practitioner to Ten of Cups present himself as her complete wish fulfillment. But in actuality, uh, uh, all he wanted was friendship and to get in her energy so that he could pick up where they left off with what they were doing. Now, all of this is leading me to believe that whoever this woman is, she's some type of uh, high priestess or divine feminine energy, okay? Because usually it's people like that uh, that are targeted uh, wherein government officials get involved and secret societies get involved and family members. Uh, I, I mean, when you have that many people uh, conspiring together to try to bring harm to one person, it's usually uh, a deeper, a much deeper uh, issue going on here. So they got this spiritual practitioner, like I said, to present himself as being her wish fulfillment. And unbeknownst to her, she did not realize that it was her ex that sent that spiritual practitioner towards her. And he, uh, he did not view her as complete wish fulfillment. He viewed her as, um, he viewed her uh, just as a friend. He was just in it for whatever uh, they were promising him, which was some type of financial opportunity or financial gain, nine of cups. So that masculine went towards a younger, uh, a younger uh, woman that his ex, whoever this woman is, they were targeting uh, that his family had pushed in his direction. They said that they were going to hook him up with a better match, okay? Now, I don't know where you find family members that are so hateful uh, towards someone in their family that they would uh, want to uh, not only hurt their family member or break up a div uh, divine connection, but also try to hook up that uh, whoever her ex is with a different option to keep that person from going back towards 
uh, whoever uh, she was in this relationship with. So they got into a relationship with someone that was either in the military or ex-military. It was a younger woman uh, that uh, presented herself uh, as a better option um, that he could have a baby with and uh, they both would be successful in life. They both have good careers, this, that, and the other. But how it ended up playing out was that younger woman turned out to be um, very promiscuous. Uh, she lied to that masculine about being pregnant um, and they never ended up having a child and she also cheated on him. Uh, she made a fool out of him and she turned out to be completely financially codependent on him. There was no equal give and take at all whatsoever. He ended up having to take care of her 100% while she ran around with other men and so on and so forth. So where that leaves us now is uh, this Aquarius in her family along with that masculine energy all of these people are under judgment right now. That spiritual practitioner. All of these people are under judgment right now. Tahuti is the hierophant. And for all of this scheming that whoever this divine feminine's family is uh, and that spiritual practitioner uh, that was hired by her ex and the people uh, in her ex's family everybody is under judgment right now one of these people in that masculine's family is a police officer they the other person uh that had an ego death may have been whoever that spiritual practitioner was all these people were doing work on a divine being here all the way across the board and this is something that went on for years this could be something that could have started back in 2016 that caused event after event after event hiring and paying people to try to bring down this has whoever you are you have to be one very, very special person, whoever you are, with some type of anointing or special path. Someone has an STD, AIDS, or cancer right now, and that's part of what they're under judgment for. The, uh, someone in your family. Someone, uh, some of these people are sick right now, but these people are under judgment. Okay. So I had to uh, kind of try to get... Um, you know, uh, a grasp for what was going on here in this situation before I can play these cards. Okay. This is some, I'm sorry, this is some sick shit. This is really sick. Can you imagine being in a relationship with someone that is poisoning you? Wow. Oh my God. Wow. So, some type of truth is about to come out. Can you imagine someone that you laying in the bed with that you trust? You know, uh, that, that, that you, you're trusting your life with. You know, you're, sharing, you're under the same roof. Can you imagine this person is poisoning you when you guys go out to eat so that they can record you, uh, so that they can record you acting a fool? Because they're trying to set you up? This shit sound like a Lifetime movie. That's what this sounds like. Ooh, there is going to be hell to come. Ooh, burdens. Ooh, boy. Somebody wants to heal from this judgment that was uh, passed on them. Yeah, okay. In these cards, they're showing me whoever that man that she was in a relationship with was... They wanted to be with someone that had more money. So anytime you have a masculine energy that is seeking specifically a woman with a certain amount of money, there were anytime you're worried about a feminine's pockets, it's because you're operating more out of your feminine energy than your masculine. 
okay all right so i have the empress let's go oh my god Okay, so I have the Empress Reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, the High Priestess. This is the spiritual practitioner right here. This is that spiritual practitioner, High Priestess Reversed here, that was doing the work. That was doing work on this woman too. Oh my God. Oh my God, the energy that is running through my fingers right now. Okay. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles Reverse. All these little petty crimes that they were doing against whoever, th this is the divine feminine they were doing this against. Child, if this mess come out, you better press charges from here to the end of the earth. These people was poisoning you. Even if it was years ago. Even if it was years ago. These people were drugging and poisoning you. Ooh. Talk to me, spirit. Oh, my God. Somebody you lay down and trust is sitting up there uh, uh, drugging and poisoning you? And recording it? Oh, Lord. The karma behind this shit is going to be heavy. Clarify that uh, Empress Reverse spirit. And that Page of Pentacles Reverse. What's the Page of Pentacles Reverse? That Page of Pentacles Reverse. This was a failed attempt to seduce you. Cult, church, coven. Can't make this shit up. Yeah. They hired a spiritual practitioner. Could be the head of a damn coven. To seduce you in a way to think that they wanted to be... They, they viewed you as their complete wish fulfillment. But in actuality, they were trying to, in actuality, yeah, I know, they're under spiritual judgment. That person is under spiritual judgment right now. In actuality, they were just trying to get in your energy so that they could do spell work on you. Anything else regarding that Empress Reverse? Am I lying? Am I making this shit up? This is one of your ex's friends or family. Whoever message this is, what did I say? I said this is one of your ex's friends or family. After you walked away from your ex, he hired a spiritual practitioner that they gave enough information to about you so that they could uh, be a match to you, so that they could mimic emotions and mimic... Um, similar interest so whatever your interests were you know this person uh, uh they gave them a rundown of them so that they can come and mimic them to you that's why you have to learn and understand about narcissism because in narcissism narcissists be careful what you say because the narcissist is really taking notes and they're listening to everything about you everything that you like if you like dinosaurs a narcissist is going to open a book and learn every every Tyrannosaurus Rex, <laughs> Stegosaurus, whatever the fuck. I don't like dinosaurs. I don't know. And then they're going to come to you with a book that falls out their hands. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> That's just my book on different species of dinosaurs because I am a dinosaur fanatic. I smoke dinosaur, goddammit, and I eat it too. Narcissists. So this person already was given a profile of what your likes and dislikes were and what your interests were so that they could go to you and mimic them to you and uh, present themselves as being a match to you, okay? This is called mirroring. This is called narcissistic mirroring. When they mirror back to you every single thing uh, that, that you say, your, the emotional level of intensity that you have, they mirror you. Your interest, they mirror them all to you. So when y'all are going out here and getting in these new connections, do not talk too goddamn much. You got to give people an opportunity to be themselves and allow them to talk. 
allow them to say what their interests are. Now, they did a really good job because someone already prepped them with this divine feminine's information ahead of time. So that's nothing you can help because this is not something that they found out by mirroring this person. This was something that they found out from their family. She likes this. She don't like that. She likes these kind of books, this kind of movie, this, that, and the other. You know, this is what they did. But for, for, for anyone else, when you meet somebody new, be very careful about narcissistic mirroring. If you're not familiar with it, Google it, look it up on YouTube. What is narcissistic mirroring? Okay? And, and, and just take a look at that. So when a man or woman is trying to get something from you and in order to do that they're trying to get you to let your guards down uh and um uh get you uh to feel a connect a, a genuine connection to them they're gonna listen very carefully to everything that you say they're gonna let you do most of the talking so that they know what to talk back to you about and they know how to bring it back to you so make sure you always just be quiet and allow them to say who they really are, what their likes and dislikes are. You got to listen uh, more than you talk. That's why the father gave you two ears and one mouth. So like I said, this person is uh, under judgment. They already slept with him or her. This is one of your ex's friends or family. Whoever these, whoever your ex is and the spiritual practitioner is, they could have had some kind of a, a sexual relationship with each other. Uh, I'm getting bisexual vibes here. I'm getting bisexual vibes here. They already slept with who? Clarify. They already slept with who already? They already slept with who? Clarify. They already slept with him or her. Clarify. They already slept with him or her. This could be a Capricorn. This could possibly be a Capricorn and uh, or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Or this could be a Capricorn that was a secret. Okay? There's a Capricorn in this scenario here or someone that has Capricorn uh, heavily aspected in uh, their chart that is also a secret. This is someone that they wanted justice with. Some type of Capricorn they wanted to be with. Okay. So let's continue. What else? I feel like there's some kind of truth. Because whoever you are, if this resonates with you, this is some sick shit. If this does resonate with you. Um, whoever you are, you have your guards and boundaries up to everybody. The Queen of Swords can see shit for exactly what it is. The, the, the Queen of Swords ain't going to let nobody play in her face. Not even that goddamn butterfly. The Queen of Swords will slice them two wings in half if that butterfly even play in her face. The Queen of Swords has perfect clarity. So she got her boundaries out. I feel like the Page of Swords is out here because a lot of truths are about to come out. Like those birds behind that cloud all coming out in the springtime. Everything is coming back. What they say? The, the, the rooster's coming home uh, to, the, to hen or some shit. You know, Malcolm X said it, goddammit. All that shit that they sent out and did over the years, because I feel like this is something that's been playing out for some years now. All of that shit that they've been doing over the years, you know, that they thought was far removed from them, that shit coming right on back. They sitting up here, they showing me this. You see all them birds coming back for the spring? They thought what they would, what they did, they sent them birds away. You know, all that shit is gone because of a winter season of, of, of death and coldness and quiet and stillness. But you have to understand, after winter is what? Spring. Those same damn birds that seen everything that happened are coming right on back. Birds have something to do with the air connected to swords has to do with communication. We live in the age and day of communication where everything that you say on the phone, every text message that you sent, every ism 
out there that is done in the computer world, period, is recorded permanently. Nothing goes away forever. So there is nothing hidden that can be dug up or pulled up under heavy investigation. These birds, with all this information, these birds representing all this communication, it's coming back now. Right back to where it started at. Because the winter is over. The snow is melting away. And everything that was hidden is about to be revealed. All them dead bodies, all that shit coming up. What are the messages? Okay, that still wanted to come out. Justice. Yes. Justice. Justice, the emperor. Somebody about to get some justice around here. Some emperor possibly is about to get some justice. They wasn't expecting some narcissist, Queen of Swords Reverse, King of Pentacles. What? Go ahead. What are, what, what are the messages? To end a cycle. Mm. And this is about to be justice. So they want to, so whatever was going on here, whatever collaboration was going on between your ex-lovers, your family members, people in possibly the military, police department, whatever the case may be, uh, whatever coven, secret society, whatever all that shit was, they wasn't expecting these people to cut them off because the shit didn't work. Whatever they were trying to do, whatever financial, because I don't see people coming together to do all this shit to one divine being unless there's money involved, okay? It's got to be some uh, low vibrational root chakra shit going on here. You know, the love and lust of money and the things that money can buy you uh, and the things that money can buy you that people will admonish you for and, and give you energy for because you don't know how to generate energy by yourself, you know. So you need uh, to generate a whole bunch of extra money, you know, uh, you're, you're greedy. Not in a way uh, to self-sustain, but in a way I need more so I can be shiny and, and I can be envied. I need other people's energy to see what I have that they can't afford. And that's the driving, because I, I can't generate my own self-esteem and I can't generate my own energy and I can't generate love uh, just by myself in a state of meditation or just being who I am. I need as much money as possible so that I can sustain myself energetically because I'm weak. I'm weak-willed. I'm weak spirited. I have low self esteem. I'm emotionally codependent on others. This is why I have the love of money to the level wherein I'm willing to do anything to get it. Who is that Queen of Swords reversed? Ah, okay. So this Queen of Swords Reverse is your ex. This Queen of Swords Reverse is one of your exes. Mm. Okay. And what's the King of Pentacles? What's the King of Pentacles? That was someone new coming towards you. Mm, okay. Okay, interesting. So they're saying that there was someone new, possibly a king of pentacles, that could have been coming towards you. That they wanted to end a cycle for you. So that person would not come towards you. And what's, who's the emperor? This emperor is a hidden enemy, okay? This emperor uh, possibly uh, could be someone on, this is someone, this emperor is someone in your family, 
okay? This is an older gentleman in your family that played a part in all of this. And he could be possibly an Aries, okay? And they were not expecting... They were not expecting this King of Pentacles to be able to come towards you. Because your ex, they were paying your ex uh, to work, whether it's the more current ex that was hired by the ex before him, as confusing as that sounds, but um, they were expecting your ex to be able to uh, block, uh, to, to maneuver things in order to block whoever this King of Pentacles is king of pentacles is that was coming towards you they didn't want you to make it to that next cycle of your life give me some energy surrounding that uh king of pentacles They only wanted resources from this person. This is your family doing this. This is people in your family doing this. Poison. This is some shit. Wow. This, whoever this king of pentacles is, this is someone that could have been in a connection wherein uh, someone could have been breadcrumbing them. Uh, it could have been breadcrumbing them energy and emotions. You know, uh, that mirroring technique that narcissists use. Uh, one of them is to breadcrumb. Just keep you enough to keep you going, but don't give you enough uh, to, you know, keep you happy or whatever. Like one foot in, one foot out. Uh, they might have, whoever this person was coming towards you, he might have somebody that's been poisoning him as well. And this is someone that's been being used uh, for money and resources. And it... It could be somebody in your family that's trying to set someone that wants to come towards you up. Someone else wanting to come toward you. I told you all before that a lot of you out there are tracked and monitored uh, through your phone because there's no integrity in the government. There's no more integrity uh, in uh, any police, military, none of these systems at all. People pretty much do what the fuck they want to do at this point. Everybody's hacking into your shit. I'm just telling you. This is how things are operating right now. Regardless of what you know, it's secure. They give you a guarantee that... Shut the fuck up. No. There is no more integrity at all with anything. That's why they play uh, with YouTubers' views. That's why they can sit up there and maneuver um, things uh, with your content online. That's anything having to do with computers... They, anybody in any company can infiltrate any damn thing. We are in a whole new world and a whole new society. Um, wherein they're doing all these computer crimes and getting away with it. And it's to the point where it's too out of control. It's completely out of control. Anyone that wants to hack your phone that has access to it, they can. And if you were this uh, targeted uh, empress then even if you had a new connection that was supposed to come towards you, anybody that you talk with on your phone, um, email, text message, phone, whatever the case may be, the minute they get wind of it, they would either approach that person that's coming for you, okay, uh, to try to block them off from you, or what they'll do is if they can't do that, they will study that person and find out what they like and they will send somebody else uh, male or female toward that person to date them they will send somebody else to date that person that's going to mirror uh, their interests uh, and mirror things to them that they're attracted to because they're going to find out like I said what that king of pentacles likes and they'll send that person to mimic the type of personality they like to distract them from you and their purpose is to completely try to uh, distract, send that person off of uh, their road, and to uh, possibly even financially destroy that person before they get to you. That's the type of shit they on right now. If they can't convince someone that's supposed to be coming towards you uh, not to uh, come towards you, if they can't block them, 
then they will literally send somebody an op to go date that person. And they'll make sure they meet that person uh, wherever they be at. Okay? That, that, that's how we doing it now. <laughs> that's how we doing it in 2023 in the new world. Okay? So there was someone coming towards you that was your justice. And this possibly in Aries, a much older gentleman in your family. The death card did come out in my pre-shuffle and I asked why they said ancestor. So this person in your family could have already passed away. This, but this person could have passed away. But while they were still alive, they had some type of involvement. Either they had a government job in which they gave people uh, in the family access. You have an Aries in your family that could have already passed away to the ancestral realm that had something to do with this. You might have another family member that is an Aquarius, okay? Could be an uncle, you know, uh, that had involvement in this as well. I'm just going off what the spirit is showing me. This is some sick shit. Queen of Pentacles, that's the truth. Oh, shit. That is the damn truth. Yeah, that's the truth. You have an uncle that's an Aquarius. I'm sorry. You have an uncle that is an Aries that has already passed away that had something to do with this in your family that worked for some type of a, a organization. Could be the CIA. And you also had an uncle that is an Aquarius that also had something to do with this. Oh, wow. That worked with your ex. And then you dated someone else that your ex actually hired. A spiritual practice. All of this shit. Now, whoever this match of yours is, you're the queen of pentacles. They're the king of pentacles. So now, if these people are not being burdened with uh, too many um, obstacles blocking their paths now, because we have moved into a new cycle, if these people are still trying to accomplish whatever it is they've been trying to accomplish, let me see what they're doing. Well, they didn't get what they were expecting. We do know that. So nobody got paid from whatever this mess is that they did. Somebody researching something. What's the hermit? Go ahead. Keep going. Somebody wants to know why. Somebody wants to know why they didn't get what they were expecting. Three of wands reversed. They're asking and doing research now to figure out what went wrong. Because this was a surefire plan. It was supposed to go perfectly. There's no reason that it should not have worked. Why all of the delusions they tried to present for this divine feminine did not work. They're studying to find out. They're retracting all their steps, everything they did. You know, we did everything right. And, and halfway through the process, it was working. But something happened. Something happened halfway along the way that stopped our progress. And caused uh, all of our illusions to fall. It, uh, what was it? I'm going to tell you exactly what it was. What it was was the devil reversed. This person that you all were targeting, at the time that you started targeting this person, they were still tied to their addictions. Whether they were addictions to e being emotionally codependent, low self-esteem, whether this person had addictions uh, uh, to old thoughts and patterns and ways that had them chained and bound, which left them in sadness and broken, which means they would be in a low vibration, which means any type of spell work you do on them, it would have worked. And the, the tricks you're playing on someone that's unhealed, you know, it's easier to get away with that when a person is unhealed and unable to see their way clearly. But whoever this divine person is, through the years while you all were working on that person, they were working on themselves. They were fighting. Whoever this person is, they were fighting for themselves. And they fought through every attack and they healed themselves. 
they healed themselves of everything that had them bound from childhood. Every, every low vibrational thought that was communicated to them in their childhood about who they were and what they were worth. Every addiction as a result of that that manifested into their adult life. Everything was healed. Everything. White as snow, like brand new. And when they moved into their new cycle, as a result of that, the vibration, their vibration raised high enough to where spell work would no longer work on them. When you heal yourself spiritually, emotionally, and physically, it raises your vibration and the energy in your body so high that it illuminates your crown chakra and it opens up your spiritual eyes. When your spiritual eyes are open, illusions cannot be passed over them. You can't trick nobody with no illusion. You can't fake the funk in no relationship. A narcissist is going to be seen straight through. No narcissist can play in your face when your spiritual eyes are open. They refer to that as being the super empath. This person went through a whole transformation and when they moved into the new cycle, these people were still operating off of the person that they knew in the old cycle that was in a lower vibration. So their spiritual eyes were not fully opened so they could not see the gains and illusions that were being played on them. They couldn't see it because they were a slave uh, uh, to uh, a love addiction possibly even. If they had low self-esteem because of the type of bond and relationship they may have had in childhood with whoever was supposed to love and care for them, they healed that. All these things was healed inside this person. So they could see exactly all the games that were being played from every angle. And when it brought an end to the illusion, these people did not know that it happened. So they were still using the same methods, uh, playing the same games on somebody that had been illuminated, unbeknownst to them, and could see everything. And had that stank look on their face. Like, come on, I see you now. My eyes wasn't open before, but they open now, motherfucker. What else, spirit? Anything else? Yeah, this person has released all of their burdens. What's four of pentacles? Sorry, it's the four of pentacles. Yeah, you cannot manifest from this person's uh, uh, energy any longer. This per Yeah, this person is healed, okay? So that's what I've been saying. Y'all wanted to know why y'all couldn't run that same game y'all been running on this person. Uh, that's what y'all are studying with the hermit card here. The reason is this person has released every single burden and negative attachment that was attached to them. Every entity tie, every energetic cord of anything of a low vibration, they released it 10 of wands reverse. And they were able to now start holding on because this person should have been in poverty complete poverty by now the way you all were manifesting off of this person's energy but now this person has healed their chakras and they're holding on they're able to hold on to their finances and abundance they're using their own solar plexus energy to manifest abundance for themselves because they have self-love and no one can take anything else from this person it only goes up from here for them this is what happens when you heal. Nine of Wands reversed. When you heal and all of your chakras are rotating in synchronicity with each other and your spiritual eyes are open and you're doing your breathing exercise and your balance and, and, and the energy around you is pure and clean, it gives way for manifestation for you. No one can steal that energy from you anymore. You're, you're guarding yourself. This person is guarding uh, all of their energy bodies. They're guarding all of their chakras. Everything is aligned and in order. And as a result of that, they are attracting abundance in every area of their life finances, romance, everything. There's nothing that can be taken from this person anymore. They've gone through their dark night of the soul and transformation. And how dare you? 
<laughs> Any other messages, spirit? Y'all better walk away. I said walk away, yo. <laughs> walk away, walk away, walk away. Yo. Y'all better walk away. It's not a game. It is not a game. I want to clarify who this King of Swords is. I, I feel like that's this person. Because that's what I want to say. But my subconscious mind is telling me that this is a guard like in like an uh, angel like archangel michael <laughs> those angles of light that come in that protection you have when that crown chakra is wide open we know those angels are what those angels are angles of light communication that comes in that communicates to your dna when you start going through dna transformations you you turn super saiyan all these angels that we call on are angel angles, like a right angle. They're angles of light that come in when your chakras are properly aligned and, and you're meditating and pulling in that energy. When you're meditating and in perfect alignment, those angles line up properly for that light information to flow right in and those DNA upgrades to flow right in too. When those DNA upgrades start flowing in, you all better watch the hell out. The full reverse. Y'all better not take no more chances. And y'all better eight of cups. Walk away from Walk away. Walk away from this shit. <laughs> y'all better not take no more offers. Y'all better not take no more offers to do none of this magic. I'm trying to tell you. This person is going super saiyan on your ass. If you know Dragon Ball Z. This person is super saiyan right now. This person is going through genetic DNA upgrades. Y'all better back the hell up. Back the hell up. Y'all still thinking y'all could do this magic and spell work real quick to try to take her ass out? You're going to take yourself out. <laughs> Any more? Anything else, spirit? <laughs> it could be somebody coming toward you. Knight of Cups. All right. Oh my God. Oh. Wow, Ace of Cups. I told y'all, y'all ain't stopping nothing. Y'all can't stop it. Y'all can't stop this. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, all right. The spirit says enough of that crazy laughing. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> One more. <laughs> all right, let me behave. The lovers. Oh, wow, judgment. Okay, damn, I, all I did was open the deck on the thing. Yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to close this down. That was just that. Okay. All right. So, there could possibly be somebody coming in new for you. If this is for you, <laughs> and this person's going to be heartbroken. A fast communication possibly could be coming in for you with this eight of wands here about the lovers this is someone that's coming towards you maybe as a friend uh the seven of pentacles that is looking into investing in you okay now that it could be investing in love you know um i don't know it could be a business opportunity but uh somebody wants some type of a lovers lovers could be a business partnership or an actual romantic relationship and you could be getting uh news about this coming in very quickly with this eight of wands here and um the empress reverse i believe this might be your uh, most recent ex they're going to be heartbroken with the three of swords here they're going to all these people are heartbroken the emperor reversed it's a, a lot of people are going to be heartbroken when all your wishes are fulfilled because nothing is going to move for these people because they were in this uh, greedy uh, king of pentacles reversed energy uh, the hangman reverse Th these people are going to be stuck and stagnant in their lives as only the beginning of their karma king of swords yep 
king of swords and the high priestess. Oh, wait a minute. Clarify the high priestess. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Woo! All right. I think this is a good place to stop it. So, it's someone coming in towards you that possibly could be a friend, okay? This is the new person that they could have been trying to stop from coming towards you. This person uh, may have an open cup of emotions for you, okay? Or this uh, Ace of Cups is the spirit telling me that I should have a glass of wine when I'm done with this reading. Either way, uh, this person may have emotions for you. They want to invest in you. Maybe they want to invest in their friendship first. And maybe if it goes well, uh, more than that. Uh, it could be for business or it could be for love. You might be receiving a phone call or some type of communication or message. Uh, this person is a king of swords. Uh, they are also a high priestess like you. So this is a highly spiritual, intuitive person as well. And a queen of pentacles. Uh, so that means this is a hardworking, stable person that is also very intuitive, okay? Uh, that's also, uh, they also have the same type of boundaries as you. King of Swords is someone that has clarity, someone that has been through a lot in their life, and they can see, uh, they can see the, the grass for the trees. And I know all these sayings, I say them wrong, but you know what the hell I mean, so don't call me out on it. Um... And like I said, most importantly, this person is a high priestess just like you. Y'all know what that means. I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Enjoy your weekend.